Hello everybody, I'm Jay here for the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, I had done these missions on stream the other night, um, however, the recording that was supposed to have been done at the same time did not bloody work. How convenient, eh? How convenient. So we're going to have to do all those missions again, which is fine because now I can put this down as like a whole playthrough, which is grand. Oh, PlayStation's taken off, that's great. Um, so yeah, let's head out to Blackwater and we'll do this mission with Javier, Charles and um, Trelawney. And we'll go from there. Oh, hey! Oh, this is the mine guy. Yeah, well, I'm not the mine guy, the gold guy. Don't mind me, I'm just going to inconspicuously put my... Seriously? Yes, autosave. Is he going to find gold? Is he going to find it? And I'm going to have myself a nice beer. And it's currently 1 o'clock in the morning. Don't know why I'm recording this, but you know what? Fuck it. What are you going to find? Oh, I... not what I planned on doing, but you know what? I do like murdering people. No, oh, cocaine. Great. It's a good haul. Ah. Um, is there a way for me to get up? Seriously. Seriously. You are a stupid horse. Hello lads, never fear, Arthur is here. Just gonna have some canned peaches. Hello boys. I'm overheating. It's cause I'm a half piece of ass. Right lads, what's the problem here? Blackwater, see how things lie. Place is crawling with painted jails, bounty hunters, and ah, pictures of Dutch. I'll tell you. Well, well, he got a lot of money sitting in that too. And that's where it's going to remain for now. My heavens, did he hang Sean? I wonder. I think he's bait. They don't want to trial him publicly. A gentleman? Sean is being moved up from Upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. I'm not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike's scouting for us. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Now, Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? We'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. The speed that boat's going, we could ambush it from here. Javier, I have no words. You utter bugger. Um, Trelawney, I'm, I'm not going to be rude or anything, but I don't give a scooby-doo about your plan. We're going to go guns bloody blazing. Let's go, lads. That was the plan, Javier. That was the plan. Yeehaw, boys. Oh, 
Come on, let me get that guy over the cliff. Or that guy. Come on. Got a nice shot here, dude. Terrible. 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 Oh, shot him in the toes. Oh, oh, right in the neck. Not a nice, not a nice way to die right there. Where am I getting shot? Oh, he's camouflaged. Oh, he took a gunshot to the knee. Oh, yep, that'll finish him off. Try your back, Charles. Don't really know what the hell you've done for us, but I'll help you out. Ooh. Quick. Come on, let's get up there. I do love Javier's blue jacket. Wish I could get one. Nothing I couldn't handle, Javier. Nothing I couldn't handle. Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The cab's up this way. Come on. Love how we're stealthing into it. They've just heard all the gunfire. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Now go right up here to the vantage point. Oh, was he sucking himself off there? Jesus. A man of extreme talents. Got two. Incredible shot. Damn right you will be, Sean. Damn right you will be. Let's cut you free now. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Uh, uh, can we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace. No, the cheeky wee Irishman. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this game. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it. I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily let you hear the rod of Charles had to stop. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles Christie rides separately. Be careful. That sounds good. That sounds good. Controls everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Hmm. Okay, come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. Yep, I'm so glad we're not yeah, riding Michonne. <laughs> No disrespect to him at all, but oh my days, he's a handful. Well, an earful, rather. Right, let's get to the horse. Actually, is it worth searching? Maybe some of their corpses? I think it is. What the hell? I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of him. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. Why would you decline that? All right, lead the way. How much of a dick do you have to be to decline that? Find him. 
Let's go and save Bill. Mm -hmm. Very true. Preaching the words right there. Portal Dutch too. Ain't for me to say. Now Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's Where are we going? Oh Jesus! I presume it's that over there, with the smoke coming out of it, the campfire. Yeah, I can tell. Thank you. There they are, on foot from here. Let's get the Kalman revolver. You idiots ever hear of Dutchman's boys? You're gonna pay for this. You have no idea what hell is coming your way. We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> idiots. Oh, you should be. Son of a gun. Oh my. <laughs> what are the chances that my hat would land in the fucking bin? Well, a box rather, not the bin. Corn? I want me some corn. Yeah, I'm getting corn. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. No problem, lads. You're welcome, Bill, by the way. We seriously killed that. <laughs> oh well, that's that's cool. Happy days, I guess. Hey, how's it going, Hazia? Nice rifle you got there. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to kill That's a big boy. Of course. Let's go. Well, where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah. I'm no, we've not replaced Bodicea yet. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on and let's get going. Cool. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. Well, there's nothing wrong with seven horses, you know? Well, I guess you're right. Oh, yes. We've already studied this because we don't know what this horse is. So, this is a Shire. It's Raven Black. It's very slow and doesn't accelerate very well. It's a heavy boy. I wonder why that could possibly be. Definitely not due to its size. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that bridge. Yeah, look at that. We are sorted. He's a good boy. Beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah. What happened to the stolen outside that saloon? 
living in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yeah. Remember? Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spark, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. Have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. are just up ahead. Alright. Go tell that big brute. It's time to sell us a horse. Okay. How much money are we gonna get for him? Get a few things to lure that bear out of. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. Well, and what about this one here? He's for sale. Uh, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? Nope. No. <laughs> of course not. We're a bandit. Of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable them here for you. Here, take a look. So long, big boy. 65 bucks. And we're going to go for the thoroughbred. Because I got the special edition of the game. So we're getting this horse. And we're going to call it... Call it... I don't know. Let's call it Miss Daisy. That seems like a horse name. Let's just hope it's actually a female horse and <laughs> not a boy. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. I take your word, mate. I trust you completely. You seem like a real honest guy. Here are your papers. Perfect. Not on me. A new... Room and brush. Oh, I appreciate that, mate. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Damn right. Looks like a nice animal you got there. Oh, my days. <laughs> right. The question is is it a girl or a boy, though? All right, let's get going. Got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. I'm sure you do, who is there. You're a wise old man. Sure it is. Figure on that. Not bad, girl. Oh, there's a girl. There, girl. Oh, I guess the easiest way would have looked for the would have been looking for the, the penis. That's a girl, that's good. So the braided tail sits. God damn Micah. We send him out scouting, and he ends up in the jailhouse. Just lucky Lenny was with him. First time out of hiding his wanted man, and he gets tangled up with the law. To be fair, Micah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you catch your dinner. Have. That 
don't mean nothing to him. Right? But nothing's how it was right now. Good job. Thank you. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Look at that, I am on the ball. I set up camp. Well, I'm famished. Look at that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Mm. Fine by me. Cooked rabbit. Never actually tried rabbit. Tried venison for the first time just a few weeks ago. Actually, maybe it's about a month ago actually now. Um Venison burgers, really good actually. Not as bad as I thought they were going to be. I thought venison was going to be this tough, disgusting, rare tasting uh, meat, but no, it's actually oh, alright. Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Hmm, indeed, let's see. Hmm, he has. There's some, there are some footprints. Any sign of him. Or paw prints, rather. I'm just going to my horse to continue following us because I want my guns. What we got here? A half eaten fish? Wait a minute. He's had his grub. On the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on. Oh, it definitely was. Now the best bit though. Oh, we are going to get our nice nostril full of this. Oh, it's right here. Let's inspect this very closely because, you know, we can't tell that's not shit. Shot, Miss Daisy. Um, didn't mean to change that. Oh, don't want that either. Uh, do, 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 do. Thank you very much, Lake. Sorry, Isaiah. I've got to be armed. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him. For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, yeah, don't be such what do you think? Downer. Think we split up in each look. Either that or we could play spade here. That could work. Which do you think? Let's blow up. Let's split up. Okay. I'll head this way. You head down that track. What have we got here? It's a fish. What a waste. Why would you half eat a fish? How does a bear half eat a fish? I'm coming with you. I'm not coming. Use that path, Arthur. Oh, it's a big boy. Yeah, that's right, you run away. Is he gone? Well, you can stop hiding now, Hosea. Everything alright? You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. That was fun. We didn't even achieve you know anything. What, Morgan, I'm a little old and Let's come kill a bear. Nope, we didn't do that. I you shot it three times and it ran away. Sit back. A man in a bar gave it to me. Yep, you stole it. We get it. You stole it. He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp. Lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? 
Well, I'm gonna track that boy down. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. See you later, Hadzia. Yeah. Take care, my friend. Take care. All right, let's get tracking this big monster. I want to skin him alive. Okay, Actually, nope, I want to skin him when he's dead. We cannot skin a bear when he's alive. That's suicide. Oh. Yeah. That's how it's done, ladies and gentlemen. That is how it's done. Let's skin as a bear. Mm -mm. It's a shame the hat that you get for taking over the, the trapper is absolutely shite. Definitely a cougar. Oh, that's a bear. Hey, I was trying to help you, mate. I saved his life, but you know what? After his cheek. Screw him. Horse, come here. Easy, 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 girl. Let me study you, because I've never seen this kind of horse, apparently. Who's a good horse? You'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be okay. Let me just check what's in your bag. Oh! Ah, here we are. Yeah, Trapper, you're in a bit of a random spot. Oh, sorry, Miss Daisy. I just, I just want to get this massive bit of beer pill off you. Hi there, sir. I believe you're looking for uh, this. Right, let's see. Oh, Sixty bucks. Any price for this. Thank you very much, Lee, sir. I would now like to buy from you a really terrible oh, hat. The bear hunter. Yay! Forty bucks for the bear's head. Absolute bloody riveting. Thank you very much for giving me 60 bucks. I'll give you some of it back. Nope, that is coming off. Let's get on the horse and take that stupid hat off. Hey, hey you! Come here a minute. What do you need? Oh, oh, uh, thanks for stopping, sir. Thank you. I'm Darcy Whitsickle, Central Union Railroad Company. Maybe you can help me. One of my... One of my... <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, Arthur, with that eye roll there. One of my workers has been stealing... What an absolute bell end doing that. That's completely unjustifiable. Everyone and everywhere ten times over. Of course, no one is talking. The way they look at me. What's all this got to do with me? Oh, uh, I just, I think I need someone a little more neutral, a little more persuasive. You, know, you, you look like you're, uh, you know, and I got to watch the camp, so did you see what you could sniff out? I'll pay you for your efforts, of course. Yeah, I got it. What exactly is it you want me to do? Find the thief and recover the money and give him his marching orders. I'm not one for matters of personnel. Look for anyone. Snooping off the line. I will do, sir. You have got it. Well, can you help me? Of course. My head is on the block here. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. You're a good man, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. We are putting all this work for all its pay into your big shield. Hello, Mr. 
Wow. Suspicious. Howdy. What is you saying hi to him? Flop an egg. Oh, Cantonese. Where do you think you go, Mr. Foreman? Some, a stranger with a horse that's randomly got loads of shite on the back of it. Where, where do you think you're going? I wonder if I can tie him up with a, the lasso and take him to the foreman. Oh, sorry. Dick. You got a lasso here with your name on it. I know exactly what you're doing. Doing your friend Percy a little favor. He says one of the workers has been stealing. I reckon I just found him. Stealing? <laughs> what? Wow. Uh, you're so innocent. Here. It's them Orientals you want to speak to. Nope, it's not. It's you. Because you stole the money. I'm going to take you to the foreman so you can face justice. Very wholesome. Very wholesome. Hundred bucks, you dick. Right, let's go, junior foreman. Let's go and see the foreman who's going to have your ass. I'm taking you to the foreman. Taking you to your boss so he can go through you. Can someone help? I promise I'll leave. Nope. What makes you think you can treat folk that way? I caught him stealing money from the camp. Taking him back to the foreman. Oh, really? Suppose that's that. Okay, I don't think I would get any dialogue. Wow. People think a criminal escaped from jail. No. Oh, foreman. Maybe I'll check back on you later then. What's going to happen now? Your colleague here thought he was entitled to a bonus. I got your money. Randall? I don't believe it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Thank you for your help, partner. Here. For your trouble. Thank you kindly. Oh, yeah. Be going all right. Sounds like he's having a pleasurable experience. Well, hey there, partner. Come take a look at this. Look at this, my friend. Tobacco. Hell yeah. 
Nature's gift to us all. Focuses the mind like nothing else. Whatever you say. Are you sure about that? I say, why buy it off you sure about that? When you can make your own. Cool. Well, plenty left here if you're interested. I'd best keep moving. Thanks for your um, educational benefits there to tell me what Indian tobacco is. Never fear, Arthur is here. What happened? My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friend. My legs are numb. I'll Please see hurry. What I can do. Oh, yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. That's what she said. <laughs> been stuck here and starved or eaten poor horse though you poor dumb animal a bit harsh oh. what will i tell mildred you need a ride home ma'am oh. oh yes mister please thank you do you know valentine i live there oh perfect i need to go there anyways We'll need to go on a horse. Uh, my leg can't handle the walk. Here, come on, let's go. Yep. Look at that. What a gentleman we are. The reason I need to go to Valentine as well is because I want to upgrade another pistol. Or maybe even my rifle, actually. So we are sitting with 252 bucks, which is not too shabby at all. I don't normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. Oh, good for I, you. I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now. Oh, she's... Oh, okay. He work. died. That's terrible. I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Of course, isn't everybody? I work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. Mm. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. Okay, okay, the cool. Man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also, doesn't sound real. Yeah. Oh, you may be right. I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. Well, I'd be careful. Offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like that. Mm. They do seem still you need to be careful though. Odd. Well, just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Well, that's Before true. I have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while. Oh. I am sorry to hear that. We're close now. Just a little further. Here we are. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Yeah, we're far from that. I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, then. See? That was good. Yeah, improved rifling. That's what we want. Improved iron sights. Perfect. Scope. Perfect. Essential, I reckon. Stock. Let's get that a wide grain. Let's wrap that boy up. Oh. Dangerous. Very cushy. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that for the time being. And pump action. You keep 
Yeah, let's let's improve the length of that. You know what? Improve the rifling. Oh, that's got nice nice wood on that stock. Let's strap it up. And let's improve those iron sights. You'll be very pleased with this. It's a nice looking gun. I can upgrade my hunting knife. Cool, I can change the colour. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Um Sir, could I buy another Catalan revolver, please? Thank you very much, Lee. Let's just get you upgraded though. Oh, we are going to be skint. Oh, we're going to be skint. <laughs> Carry it with pride. Cool. Thank you very much, Lee, sir. I should now take my leave. Housekeeping. Oh, that's a terrible portrait there. Well, that's not very nice. Hey, put that damn gun. Let me into that back room of yours, right? Now. Sir, please. Oh, I do. Get it open. Get it open. For you fellers. Yeah, it's only the dock. Oh, it's only the dock, is it? Oh, oh you've made a bad mistake here. Can't see where that cold fall could bother us on this. Put it on the bed. Looks like a nice little Oh no, shot her in the bib. Why the hell did you have to do that? Take the money. Take the money offer. And take the gun, take the gun. 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Good, nice. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Whoa, that's a beauty. Can I not open the security door? What the hell happened here? Hey, stand down. Hands Ooh. in the air. Why can we just start slapping me? <sighs> oh well, looks like we're going out with a blast, boys. I love that they just started opening fire. His head's gone. $116 bounty. Uh, let's see. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. We went and fucked it. Horse. Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy. 
Who the hell is... What the fuck? They're all locals. Great. 176. Oh my days, what do we do that for? Get the hell out of my sight. I ain't here to cause trouble. If you had any sense, you'd know who to go to. What a dick. And on that note, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to leave that episode there. So thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon for another episode. Until then, do take care. Cheer bye for now.